Hi everyone, welcome back to Four Well Farm. I'm Honeywell, and we're playing Stardew Valley, of course. It's the 10th of spring, which means it's Vincent's birthday. And we also, we have an ancient seed artifact in our bag that is begging to go to Gunther. And the spirits are very happy today. Uh, they will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. Queen of Sauce, stir fry. We knew how to, we stayed up all night learning how to stir fry. <laughs> and what do we have to do today? Our axe is ready uh, to be picked up. And I believe we have the five bars we need to upgrade it to a steel axe, which will give us access to the secret woods, which is absolutely a good thing. We want that. What else do we have going on here? We have a messy inventory is what we have. Let's uh, put some stuff away. Copper bars. Um, since we're going to... Let's get rid of that. Store our salads in there for now. We are going to... Need our geodes. Because we're going to see Clint. We're going to the museum, so we'll want our ancient seed. I believe we need two red mushrooms for the community center. One for a for exotic foraging battle and maybe one for the bulletin board. Which brings up the fact that we need to... Is today the day to do that, though? I think we need to unlock the community center. Uh, we need to complete a bundle in the community center in order to unlock the pantry. And I'm wondering if today is the day to do that. We want to get as much time fishing as possible. Uh, because it's a good luck day. And we need a lot of gold for the egg festival. But, you know what? We're going to be going by the community center, so we might as well. Let's do it. So let's uh, see what we have going on here. Uh, geodes. Geodes. Uh, quality, yeah. Spring foraging bundle. The iron that we need to get our tool upgraded. I'm trying to make sure that we don't make any mistakes when we leave the farm here. <laughs> that we have everything we need. It's Vincent's birthday, so we want to bring him a gift. And, of course, the higher the quality, the more relationship points you get. So, we'll give a... Uh, Vincent, a gold daffodil here, which he likes. It's not a love gift, but it'll be enough. We need to water our crops, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's put this away, and I guess while we're watering our crops, we'll start working on copper. We'll be good. And, yeah. Oh, I'm putting stuff away. Yeah, let's do it. Start a smelting. And uh, let's get watering. It shouldn't take too long. We uh, deliberately... We deliberately kept our crops small this time. Uh, because we're hoping to be able to spend as much time in the mines as we need. And we're opting to fish uh, for seed money instead of farm for it. Uh, what that means is we were able to uh, get down to level 50 in the mines relatively quickly uh, because we weren't stuck on that we could devote like you know entire days to it and we weren't stuck on the farm you know tending crops um, but that also means that uh, we need to spend quite a bit of time uh, fishing in order to get all the money that we need. Um, are we going to need our pickaxe? Let's take a minute. Let's get these copper bars. We'll uh, shove them in here. And now we have five copper, copper bars ready. So in case we get a rainy day, we'll, we might be able to, um, to do what? Uh, to upgrade our watering can. And we're done with that. Let's let's start smelting iron. And you know what? I'm wasting time here. I was going to um, put down some define our 
field some more. But it's a good luck day, so let's uh, get to get to the lucky part. We're going to we're going to take a minute to go down to the spring onions, though, because we have to go to town anyway. Uh, so we might as well exit down this end, the south side of the farm. We'll check on spring onions because the more if we don't need to eat our fish, you know, that'll make us more money. Oh, uh, this was a good decision. It's wasting time. But this is a nice stack of onions. Yeah, good, I'm happy with this. I forgot to drop off our parsnip seeds and potato though, so that's unfortunate. Because I wanted to crack those geodes before we upgrade our axe to steel. Being a, be, having that, the secret woods available to us before, um, before salmon berry season really ups your, the number of salmon berries that you can access. It is a good luck day, so we would kind of want to check the trash. Hey, Vincent, birthday boy, not a parsnip seed. There you go. Yes, just for you. Tough choice, I know. A uh, Vincent likes snails now, which I think is adorable. Uh, let's check. We should have a heart with Vincent now, too. Vincent and Lewis, those are our only friends. The old man and the little boy. Let's uh, check the trash before uh, everybody shows up. And here, look what I have for you, Gunther. Look at this. It's amazing, right? And let's get our reward. I should have hoed, hoed and uh, watered a farm plot for this, but we'll do it. Hey, Clint. Thanks for the yaks. And let's process our geodes. A little bit more bag space would have been nice. We're still gonna sell our minerals. I think once we have our strawberry seeds in the ground, then we'll stop uh, selling all this stuff. I miss having a blacksmith chest. Usually I would have put a chest outside of a Clint shop, which was very handy. But no. And the reason why we're processing these uh, geodes is one, for money, and two, they might have useful ore for us. So. But no, they're having a useful stone. <laughs> We're on fire. But there was some, it looks like there was some iron though, so that's good. We'll never say no to coal. Almost done. 250, another 300, 120. I don't know, I think we're, uh, I think we're ending up with more money than we're paying to crack open these geodes. A lot of stone though, look at that. But nine coal, which is really good. That's like enough for like a preserve jar. So let's sell the last bit of our minerals there. Not as many as I would have hoped. And let's upgrade our tool. We want a steel axe, please. 
Yes. Great. So, did we check the stash? Oh, thanks for the copper. And we'll check the Joe Jamart trash. And I would have preferred to go straight from the farm up to the mountain lake. So we had, you know, a full, full day fishing. But this isn't bad. If we can get up there by, you know, 12 o'clock 1, be pretty good. It's a very happy day today, so, you know, the potential for treasure chests are there. And let's complete our spring foraging bundle. Great. Our 30 seed packets and we are out of here as soon as the Junimos will let us go. And the whole reason why we wanted to get that is uh, just to open up that pantry. I guess we could have done that all in one go. The night of the egg festival, but maybe we saved a little bit of time by doing it now. And I think we have our fishing pole in the cave. Artifact spot. Thanks for the book. Hey, Linus. How are you? It is a great gift. I hope you enjoy. I don't know you well enough to trust you. Sorry. Well, I guess don't eat that spring onion. <laughs> That's all I can say. Okay. Uh fishing pole and bait we need and is there uh I'm tempted to drop some stuff in this chest but let's not well let's drop our sword in the chest our sword can go in there yes I don't like, I like having chests in convenient places, but I don't like, I'd like them to be like temporary storage, not something that, you know, permanently gets filled up with a bunch of junk. All this out of here, and I guess we should craft up some uh, more bait. Great sort that and let's go fishing you know what this looks like we've spent so much time fishing but it really is the best money early game so that's why we're doing it hopefully we'll get some good treasure chests and i will talk to you all soon First treasure chest of the day is a dud, uh, but that's okay. This treasure chest, however, is not a dud. Uh, rice shoots are good. That's farming experience and... Here we have treasure chest number three. 
uh, two artifacts. Okay. Won't say no to that. And number four. Again, not upset about these rice shoots. Getting quite the collection here. And number five, another dud. And treasure number six, uh, another dud, kind of. And lucky number seven uh, is some coal. Not very lucky. And some more mediocre results. I was really hoping for some things that we could sell, but that does not appear to be happening. We'll uh, cast one more time here. And then we'll start heading back to the farm. We want to go ahead and uh, sell our catch because... Uh, because why? If we get... If we have at least 3,000 gold, we'll unlock our mushroom cave and uh, that would be a good thing. Mushrooms are good food, and we also want to uh, do what? We want to uh, plant our agency. So let's take our hoe and that, and I guess all of this stuff needs to come back with us. Uh, we have room for are we gonna leave our potato up here? No, we're gonna leave this. And I would like to bring some spring onions with us. But let's bring our potato instead. Do we have enough to, we have enough to, uh, to hoe the ground and water it? Whether we have enough time to do that, I do not know though. The long walk home. Now, once we get access to the secret woods, um, we're one step closer to building a stable so Miss Daisy can come home. And that will be brilliant. That looks like a good spot in it, Zenny, to uh, plant our seed. What is it, 1.30? Oh, I don't think we're going to get it watered. In fact, I know we're not going to. That's unfortunate. It doesn't matter. We're not going to leave us out on a harvest. But, yeah. And we're selling all of this fish for money. 
I will spell, sell our spring seeds as well. And do we want to sell this potato? No, let's keep the potato. That's nice. And do we have time to get some iron on the go? Get in the house, get in the house, go to bed. Just made it, go to sleep for the night, yes. Yes, please. So we have level seven fishing, not a bad thing. I've never tried for the legend in my first spring, but if we get up high enough, maybe it's a possibility. And not a brilliant day fishing, uh, but we still earned 5,000 gold, so that is not bad. And it is the 11th of spring, and do you know what today is? Well, it's mushroom meat. <laughs> It's Mushroom Cave Day. Hi, Honeywell. I have some good news for you. A few days ago, I made a breakthrough in my research on the local environment. I'll spare you the details. Yeah, let's keep going. I can either set up the cave to attract mushrooms or fruit bats. The bats will sometimes leave fruit for you to collect. Which would you prefer? The mushrooms. I always go for the mushrooms. It's good food. It helps with the foraging bundle. And while the bats... The bats leave you with a cave, an empty cave that you can uh, put whatever you want in it. Uh, but I just like the mushrooms, so that's what I go with. Great. Thanks for doing that, Demetrius. Um, oh. Let's get, let's get some more iron on the go. And let's see what our day is going to be like. Weather report, uh, no rain, fortune teller. Uh, the spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Uh, that is good because do you know why? Yeah, it's a fishing day. <laughs> it's all a fishing day. I see we have our, Robin wants her ax, but you know what? I'm not going to, we're not gonna take time to go to go down there, or should we? We could collect spring onions if we did. But yeah, I don't think we're going to. I think we're just going to get fishing because we need so much money. I'm thinking we probably need to plant probably somewhere around 125 strawberry plants, more than I've ever planted before. And in order to plant that much, we'll need like a good, a good 12, 13,000 gold. And yeah, you can see that we're not there yet. And just plus, we also need just gold for, you know, gold's sake. Let's add our bean to our bin for the quality crop, not quality crop, for the spring crop bundle. We also have, oh, it looks like we have two Nautilus sh shells now, which tells you how common they are. But we have an ancient seed. How amazing is that? And do you know what else we can make? And we have 12 rice shoots. That is going to help with uh, free, energy-free uh, uh, farming experience. So I like that. And they only take six days to mature. So that is good. I think we can build, do we have wood? We can go ahead and uh, build a crab pot now, which is good. I wish I had bait with me though. Um, and this will help uh, complete our crab pot, crab pot bundle, which we still need three more items for. Or two more items for. And then we'll get three more crab pots, is what I was trying to say. Okay, we can sell that. And let's uh, put all this stuff away that we can. We can't fit the... We can't fit stuff. Um, let's bring our spring onions with us. 
What do you think? Should we try and go in the mines? This is a, I've never uh, done a start like this, so this is all new for me. I think we should, we should make a tapper and at least get one going. It's not gonna rain tomorrow and we still have some copper to smelt, so yeah. Let's get a tapper on the trees. And I think we'll just start with, we'll just start with, uh, with pine. And it's 8.30, time is a-wasting, let's get out of here. We're going back up to the lake and it's going to be another fishing day. I will, uh, I'll meet you there. And here we are at our favorite spot. We will be uh, spending the entire day here and you know what that looks like. And the first treasure of the day, uh, that gold I am not going to say no to. Don't we already have some gold? So that's a gold bar. That will, we can use that to complete the, uh, one of the bundles for the mine cards. And what's in the box? Uh, a bone flute. That I think I still need on my other file. <laughs>
and it's getting dark out and yeah treasures have been pretty light but it looks like we're catching a lot of fish uh iridium bullhead fish they're worth quite a bit so not unhappy about that yeah and we're gonna carry on It has been a long time since we had a treasure, and not much of a treasure. Maybe this will be a treasure? Um, you know, the rice, rice shoots are good. Uh, again, not really a treasure though. And this will be the last catch for the night. A nice pair of broken glasses. Brilliant. And what do we have in the box here? Um, we're going to go ahead and bring our fishing pole back with us because we're going to want to bait our, our trap. In fact, let's... Uh, can I not do this? Let's separate a piece of bait already, and maybe we can get that baited before the morning. So, you know, it'll be good for us. Anything in the box? Uh, the glasses need to come back with us. The slime can stay. And do we need the spring onions? I'm not sure. Uh... Let's take those just in case. You never know if we'll need un um, energy tomorrow morning because I don't know what we're doing yet. We need quite a bit of money for spring seeds and then we need another 10,000 gold for our stable. So Miss Daisy can come home. One we we're not gonna have time to bait that trap. but we want to sell or catch. There we go, and we already donated that. And I believe that's everything. And we already donated a rusty spoon. Bone flute is new. Uh, I was hoping that we could smell a bar of gold, but that's not gonna happen. <laughs> We're cutting it too close. There we go, into the bed before we lose a thousand gold. It'll be absolutely terrible. Yes, go to sleep for the night. Level eight fishing, not bad. And we did, we did not get a lot of treasure, but we had a really good uh, fishing day. Another 6,655 gold. And what does that put us at? Uh, that puts us at 16,000 gold and our steel axe is ready. So um, yeah, we're off to a good start here. We have our seed money, we can access the secret woods, and we'll have to uh, come up with a game plan for the next uh, day or two. The festival is coming up, 
But yeah, we'll see what happens next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode and will leave a like if you did. Your likes and comments are always appreciated and they matter. The content you like is scheduled more frequently. Also, consider subscribing if you're new. I'd love that too. And that is all for now. I hope to see you all soon. Bye-bye.